Hello everyone and welcome to day four of the course. Today's topic is pedagogies that support authentic global collaboration and Brad has put together uh, a wonderful collection of resources for us to explore and I've had a look at them and they will definitely make you think. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about some of the systems that we have been working on behind the scenes to uh, help us all um, share projects and extend the communication and collaboration outside just the walls of this Moodle. So what I, what I would like to do is head over to the Moodle and I will show you some of the um, links to these resources. So the first thing to note is that we have created a hashtag for this course. It is uh, AUTHGC, short for Authentic Global Collaboration. We were using the EdTechVC hashtag, but that is a very general hashtag for sort of all EdTech stuff in British Columbia. So we wanted a one more specific to this course, so that's what we came up with. And Claire has um, embedded a widget in the side of the Moodle that you may have noticed, where anything you tweet with that hashtag will show up. So we hope that those of you who are on Twitter will start to share uh, things you've learned, any resources you pick up using that hashtag and help us to um, share some of this stuff outside of the Moodle. If you are not on Twitter but have been thinking about getting onto Twitter, there's never been a better time. You have a um, rich community of educators in here who will follow you back and support you as you learn the ins and outs. We will be working on putting together some um, helpful guides for newcomers. The other thing we've been really aware of is that there has been a lot of informal sharing of projects and project ideas in the forums and we wanted to try and um, give you all a way to organize some of those projects so Pauline's been working very hard behind the scenes to create some Google documents for us to use so up here in the Moodle there is a link to a successful global collaborative projects bank and the idea is, is that this spreadsheet here is an editable spreadsheet and if you click on it you'll be able to add in um, the website address name and some description of some of the projects you found to be particularly excellent. This is a discussion um, forum as well, so if you would like to start a discussion about one of those projects, you can do that in there. The other Google document is uh, this link here, have an idea for a project. This is meant to be a document more for um, project you might want to start and maybe you're looking for feedback on an idea or uh, you'd like to find some people to join up with you you can put your ideas in this Google document or you might actually find that um, the starting a new discussion topic might be the way to go um, for your idea for a new project over on the wiki there's also links to um, the collaborative project bank here and Pauline has also put in a Keep in Touch page. And this is, uh, we hope we can get as many of you as possible to fill in um, this spreadsheet. This is the original spreadsheet that uh, is linked to the form that you filled in the first day of the course. What we've done is we've added some extra columns. So we would really like to get as many people's Twitter handles as possible. If you have a blog, it would be great to get your blog address. Um, school website and if you have a classroom Twitter account you could also put that in there and um, so we can use that information to start connecting and collaborating as well. So those are the new systems that we put in place that we hope uh, will help expand this conversation outside of the Moodle. Uh, so I will leave it there and uh, let you go and explore the wonderful